And we're back with some more Rimworld. And today, we're very simply going to be modifying our religion and going straight transhumanist. We've got enough power over here that hopefully that should help stabilize us. Uh, we're going to chuck in, I think, the transhumanist module here. It's going to be all for these, what is it? Yeah, these bio sculptor pods. We will, oh, we're going to have to do some massive changes to our bedrooms as well. We're going to have to give everyone some sort of a booster for their sleep pods, but that's fine. I hope it works with bed rolls. It doesn't matter, we got plenty of steel. I did, went on a big steel mining spree and we got about 5,000 of this stuff lying around. But for now, I'm just trying to get this steel reliquary up and... Or, steel reliquary? That's not what I wanted. But betrayal offer? Uh. Okay. Wait, what? A betrayal offer? You know, it's weird. I don't think I've ever actually helped people before because I don't think I've seen this before. Or maybe I have and I've forgotten, but uh, it looks like this quest we accepted to host these destitute survivors for a while. Um, betrayal offer 13 targets remaining. Alright, so they are going to depart in a while, uh, the destitute survivors, or... And they might give us a possible future reward, which we don't care about, to be honest. Uh, or we can betray them and get a bionic arm and an LTAC helmet. I don't care, I suppose. I I'd prefer to just have the labor around, so yeah, plus it's a bionic helmet, who cares. Why am I building a reliquary? That's not what I wanted to build. God damn it, where is it? Grand Meditation Throne. That's what we wanted to build. I am a Muppet. Right, someone get around to building that if you wouldn't mind. Yep, there you go, Casey. Good job. All right, I'm beginning to think that may have been the steel reliquary and the meditation throne are kind of uh, very similar in price. With the steel grand meditation throne complete, Intern Zero can now get their Baron ceremony. Uh, excellent. I should probably turn on the heaters as well while I'm at it. Uh, designate power toggle. Daniel, uh, got to. Did someone go turn that on. Mainly because I don't want anyone freezing to death while they're in here. It's minus 16 in there and it's minus 43 outside. Where did it? Damn it! Who built a snowman on the landing spot again? Guys! Ah! Uh, now they're gonna land all the way over here. Stop building snowmen in the landing spot. It's just. Mm, Muppets. Alright, hopefully uh, this this guy won't freeze to death. Yeah, they seem fine. Their gear supports them down to minus 23. We'll put on a couple of heaters in here and they'll, they'll be A OK. Alright, intern. Uh, why don't you come over here and begin the bestowing, sir? Ooh. Yeah, I just realized we got all that extra crowd here. That's going to help with the impressiveness, right? Uh, if we leave people out, actually it doesn't hurt at all. But you know what? No, it is going to be a grand bestowing ceremony. We're even going to get along all the all the temporary colonists who are just here visiting. And done. What did we get out of that? We got word of inspiration. Actually, that's that's pretty good. And it's an honorable honorable bestowing ceremony. Means everyone's going to be a little bit happy and they got a couple extra points out of it. Right, four more points and they get to be a count. That is perfect. Once they get that, we've got the potential for the Empire to show up on the comms console. We have also managed to convert this new prisoner over to our religion. They're now part of the Teo faith, so prisoner recruit. And we have, I think we have several inspired recruitments. Everyone is just so happy we've got one, two, yeah, we've got two inspired recruitments going on. That's, uh, yeah, so that, that new colonist will be joining soon. I think it's Intern 6 will be their name. Uh, we picked them up because we want to turn them into a brawler. They just have the, the brawler build. They're a brawler and they're tough. That means they'll take half the damage and they'll get a massive uh, XP, well, massive bonus to their attacks and defenses. I say we stick them in some incredibly heavy armor and use them to face tank a whole bunch of stuff. I was just about to update the spreadsheet when I realized MJ is not one of our colonists. MJ is one of the temps that's in here. Oh, yeah, they're one of the destitute survivors that's going to be here for another 3.8 days. And now they're hooked up with Daniel. Daniel, you dog. What the hell? Okay, then. So they're now hooked up. And they liked them because they had a deep talk with them twice. And MJ likes Daniel because, well, yeah, deep talk by by twice, initiated loving plus seven, ah, yeah, and physically appealing because of the nose jobs. Actually, what the, let's look at their social. Oh wow, they like all of our people. Like literally every single one of our colonists are friends with them because of no job. Goes to show you, beauty really is just one of those handy traits to have. Time for another wedding because we haven't had enough weddings already. 
Uh, Unbreakable has reached one in social. Uh, so Gus and Daryl are gathered here to be married in what can only be described as two yetis. Ugh, trying to suck face. Okay, fine. This just looks ridiculous with all this armor and stuff. Inspired recruitment from Stevens? Who the heck? Stevens isn't even on the team, guys. Stop getting so happy. Oh, I suppose all of them are super happy because they're attending so many weddings. Uh, everyone loves visiting this colony. All right, and we got some new lovers, Totvidas and Valiant. Okay, at least that's two of ours. Bit of a solar flare just to sort of mess up our uh, our little hydroponics room. We can keep the temperature above minus 10, but I don't think we can save the plants. Nope. And you guys, we should not make you gather spots at all. And we should get rid of the automatic refueling. But we can burn some wood. We have... We have a lot of wood. We have been living on a lot of bonsai trees. Occasionally the, the thrombo will come along and graze on a few bonsai trees, but we're okay with that. Anyway, if this power outage doesn't go on too long, we might be able to save the plants. It just depends how long the solar flare lasts, and the problem is, you have no way of knowing. So either you lose all the plants, and we wasted the wood. You know what? We'll see. Alright, we lost some of the plants, but not all. Maybe it dipped a little bit too cold. We needed four fireplaces, not three in the end, but... It worked out okay. That thrombo is still... It's on a rampage. Like, dear lord, 44... Like, are you even getting anything out of eating those? Your food's still at 44%. Okay, just I suppose keep eating everything, yeah. <laughs> I don't have the heart to stop them. Oh. Married. Okay, so a couple more people got married. Critical alert, hypothermia. Calvin, get to a warm place for the love of God. That was the temperature in there, 18C. Yeah, you'll be fine. And here it's minus 47. Ooh. Rare thrombos. I think we might have a few inspirations going on. Uh, okay, we've got no animal tamings. Not one. Inspired recruitments? Yep. Yeah. Trades? Yep. Yeah. Shoot frenzies, surgeries? Yep. Yeah. But nothing to do with animals. Oh, wait. Never mind. I should have tamed down a bit. Shoot frenzy, creativity, surgery, fred inspired taming on Ralph. Ralph, what's your animal taming skills? Well, it looks like we're getting another thrombo, and the rest we can add to the fridge. All right, well, we'll let you finish the wedding, but then, Ralph, you're going on a taming. Now, our current thrombo is a female, so we're going to want a male. There's a bit of a problem, though. Uh, there's only two males here. There's, was it female, male, female, female. So we've either got a choice between one with asthma or one with hearing loss. So hearing loss it is. They're, they're, they're pretty old, unfortunately. But we don't really have much options here, so if we want to be able to breed some thrombos... Perfect. Now we have two. You can uh, pretty much wander around and do whatever you want training-wise. Yeah, we'll train you up too. You might as well join the team on. Yeah, we're, we're going to want to maybe give them some bionics as well. Maybe make them into some mecha thrombos, but we might not have time. Oh, I just stopped recording there, and it turns out there's a mechanite cluster dropping. Uh, let's check it out. It is going to be, yeah, about 10,000 points. Randy random factor, force maximum. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, uh, over here. Hmm. Maybe bring everyone back inside. Uh, one moment. Everyone's set to run back inside, uh, including our animals. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, come on. You are a sunblocker. <laughs> I don't think you got the memo, pal. Uh, we, we don't care about sunblockers around here. What do we got? You're going to uh, create pikemen. You are going to create pikemen. Oh, it's, I don't really like pikemen. The range is what's the problem. We've got one auto-charge turret, three mini-slugger turrets, and the thing is, the moment we aggro these, they're going to come running straight for us, so that's not a problem. And uh, we have a countdown activator, 1.4 days. Yeah, I don't really see this as being much of a problem. I say we lob a, an artillery, sh a, a mortar shell over there, uh, stir them all up like crazy, and then bring them into our kill box. Yeah, seems, seems pretty standard issue. Uh, once everyone and our animals are back inside. Come on, everyone in. Though we might want to do this quickly. Our guests are departing in 23 hours, and uh, we, we're going to try and, and not get them killed or eaten or, you know, turned into hats or anything like that. We want to actually try and ooh, turn you off. Actually, designate you off for now. Well, I think the mechanoids are probably going to kill those, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, is everyone just about back in? Let's get some mortar people going. Plan here is very simple. We're going to mortar the turret. I mean, we don't really need to hit anything else. We're going to be killing them with people, and just killing the turret would cut down on the amount of smoking we'd have to do. As in smoke launching everything up. Uh, how's it looking? Uh, anyone? Oh, guys. Fire it. Fire it, Will. There's no need to hold back. In fact, 
Let's hold fire for a second again. See if this thing hits and stirs him up. That is a, a total miss. You managed to hit just in there and miss literally everyone. Okay, we're going to get rid of the whole fire again. You, you guys just, just try and hit something this time. Yeah, I should probably set a force target. Okay, there you go. Fire at will. You going to hit anything this time? Charlie and Daryl, it's down to you two. Incoming! Hey, you clipped the turret. Perfect. Just there's no uh, unstable power cells here. If we check under unstable power cells, we are the only ones that have them. So, are those things moving to attack? No, they are not. Oh, wait. I think they are. Perfect. All right. Let's get uh, all of our mortars set to hold fire again. And let's start getting people around to the kill box. I hadn't actually had this open at the start, which was a big mistake. If we had got attacked by a normal raid, we would have they, they would have started smashing on the walls instead of coming into our kill box. That was sloppy. This should be a relatively straightforward fight, at least at the start. And then the centipedes will show up and make things more complicated. I want to get to them, though, pretty quickly because we want to get out there and grab those, uh, those rare thrombos. Or semi-rare thrombos. Check here. Who's shooting last? I think it's time to maybe send a few people onto the EMPs. We have all seen how this goes before. This kill box is, yeah, it's brutally overpowered. But, say la vie, we went this way and now it's just, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to stick with my original assessment. I don't think I'm going to build this again. It feels just so utterly evil. I mean, at least the corner killer had a little bit of mess to it. This should just be a quick repair job, uh, scrap up all the centipedes, turn them all into phoenix armor. So far, we've got four of our pawns in phoenix armor. It's a much slower progress than the helmets, though. Phoenix armor is incredibly expensive. It takes a long time. Also, we've got to get an aesthetic nose for our newest recruit, Caribou. I also realized that we need to get a... Oh, Caribou, why are you sleeping in there? Oh, you haven't hooked up on anyone yet. Don't worry, we'll get you some prisoners to execute, and we're currently building you an aesthetic nose. So soon you'll be pretty bell of the ball, you'll uh, have more pawns, pawns. And the thing is, I couldn't get everyone matched up in a bed because I realized I had a, a gender imbalance. We actually have two extra guys, which means we need to hire, well, we hired one more woman, we're going to need to hire another woman after this, and then we should be able to have everyone pair off and no one's actually sleeping alone. Well, hopefully. With all of that done, we're just going to start the slow crawl process over here. Uh, try and stay out of the turrets range, guys. And there we go. We're actually getting a few beads off on one of them. Well, that's one turret down, and now we just have to crawl forward some more. Now, because I'm using so many people, I'm not trying to hopscotch forward and pick lines of sight and all that. We can just do this slow and steady. There's no real rush here. We've got a bit of time to kill, and we should be able to... Like, those turrets range is just annoyingly long. But hey, we got assault rifles. We'll, we'll clear this out in no time. Ah, the lovely hiss of an explosion about to start. Go on. Oh. Excellent. Almost there. Though I think we might be... And there's some line of sight blockage, but nothing too major. We'll be done with this thing in no time. I just wanted to get this done before any of the pikemen popped out. That would be more of an annoyance than I'm willing to deal with. They're, they outrange our guys, so it'll be too much effort. And I think that's all the guns. All right, Ralph. Uh, you can go back and grab your machine gun. There is no need for you here anymore. And the rest of you can go over and just take care of everything. Just stand in the middle and start shooting. That was, by far, the weakest mech attack we have had in God knows how long. And it brought a sun blocker, of all things. Like like we were scared of a block sun. We're already there, buddy. We're already there. And this should explode with a little bit of a... Who's the big EMP blast, no? Ah, nothing. So on the bright side, everyone gets a little mood bonus. Where is it? Defeated mech cluster, plus four. Still can't override our wedding bonuses. Our wedding bonuses are completely out of, the contr out of control. Anyway, we'll dismantle this, take the parts inside, and our guests should be leaving shortly, and hopefully successfully alive, which would be a first for us. Speaking of weddings, looks like everyone's going to attend another one. Ah, oh, damn it, guys. Stop doing that, would you? Actually, don't. The mood boosts are too, too plentiful. I might want to... Betrayal reward retracted. Has learned that one of the members of Aorus is no longer at just because it made it... Uh, Ash wanted all members of Aorus. Okay. Oh, we're all leaving. Hadn't even noticed. Hey, hopefully MJ makes it off. How are you doing? You are hypothermia minor. You are hypothermia shivering. You're probably... Uh, are we going to have to go out and rescue you again? Come on, you can make it. Uh, what's your psych guide addiction at? You are... Oh, wow, you're in massive psych guide withdrawal. We might have to dose you to get you off the map. A bit of go juice might get you moving. There it is. Absolute proof that we got survivors out. We actually didn't kill them. That is... 
Yes, we successfully helped people. No murderage was involved whatsoever, and we didn't even betray them despite the offer. All right. Feels, feels weird. All right, we just got an inspired taming as well. Let's see if Casey is up for... What's your... Wait, what? Your animals is at 12. Looks like we're getting a third thrombo. Uh, I think we'll grab one of the females because the other male has problems. Once Casey adds that to our team, we now have three thrombos, and it's going to drink a beer. Oh, you were going to fit right in. You were going to love this place. Uh, how many beers are you going to have, buddy? Ooh. Four in one sitting? Well, I mean, you got the five? You you have, uh, you're just warm. I suppose they've got the tolerance for it. Damn. I should maybe zone them out of the beer supplies? I mean, there's a loads of meals lying around the place they could eat, and uh, there's a lot of, you know, plants over here they could eat, but... Hey, if they want the beer, they want the beer. Let, let's see what happens to them. Anyway, now that all of the questing stuff is done, and we've actually cleared most of the map of garbage. Like, I mean, when it comes to scrap metal, we actually have a bunch of... I drone mail, actually. How much of a difference is that really going to make to our people? Uh, Daniel, okay. Who's, damn it. Come on, someone around here is a male. Jarek, all right, minus four. Or minus 30. Still not going to counteract all the weddings. That's kind of ridiculous. Over here is where we're going to put in all of our, uh, what was it, biopods? Yeah, the biosculpture pods. It's going to cost us a fortune, but I think we can afford it. Room completed, we'll throw in a quick lamp, and then flooring-wise, well, this place is going to be all about biopods, so it's got to be sterile tile. Three steel and twelve silver per tile. This is going to be expensive, but it'll be worth it. All right, and I'm going to surround the whole thing in plasteel. We're going transhumanist, so I figure plasteel feels more appropriate for what we're trying to achieve here. This flooring, though, is going to take a wee bit of labor. Research-wise, the only thing we're missing from our ship is the Starfleet sensors. Uh, Starship sensors. We've pretty much researched everything else, except for hard drugs. Batman then does not do the hard drugs. We, we don't we don't trade in those. The wake-up is fine. If kids want to learn to stay up a little bit longer and do their studies and all that, that's fine. According to, to turn to Slim, but, but hard drugs, no. We don't deal in those. You know, we, we'd probably finish this room a lot faster if, you know, everyone stopped having weddings. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was going to put in more chairs, but a snowman got in the way, and I'm like, I'll just leave the snowman there. It seems kind of mean to get rid of it. Uh, we could spike out more, but I think we've got enough chairs for everyone. It'll be fine. All right, and yeah, we've now got three thrombos just wandering around the place causing... Well, I'm, I'm sure they're going to dirty up the place, but I just don't have the heart to, you know, don't them outside of the buildings. Plus, I'm just letting them see what, anim what plants they eat or what, what kind of insanity they get up to. They're also going to start breeding, but it shouldn't be much of an issue for us. We're only going to be in this for about another year. Ooh, chunks of spacecraft. Yeah, we'll deconstruct you. We pretty much are just deconstructing them instantly. New lovers. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'll update the sheet. Well, that's not something you see every day. scooby -Go has been eaten by desire. Ah, oh, excellent. Yeah, scooby -Go was that pawn we enslaved to sacrifice because they were a really good pawn, but they were a masochist and we thought it would be nicer to give them a proper sacrifice as opposed to a summary execution. Well, I mean, they were into the pain thing. I'm pretty sure a warg just got to the bottom of them. Well, I don't like the look of this. Mech hive. Uh, attacking immediately. Breach your walls. Yeah, Randy gave us the max. Max factor. 1.49. I think that's the max you can go for. You. Anyway. Uh, this is going to be fun. We have nine scythers, we have eleven centipedes, seven lancers, four pikemen, and just the one termite. Okay, so we kill the termite. Depends where they start drilling in. Say we hide over here and kind of slam them from the side. We probably, like, once we get rid of the therm termite, that's most of their de wall damage done. Then they'll start chewing into our base a bit, but I'm okay with them chewing into our base a bit. So long as it keeps everyone alive. Let me come up with a plan here. All right, we got the entire team on the way over. We're leaving the animals out of it for now. Just for now. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna lock them down to a little area inside. We don't want them getting involved. There's just, they've got a few inferno centipedes there and that, yeah, that just does not go well for animals. Hmm. And there's everyone together. All right, team. Let's... Go kick some butt. Now, it is kind of nice. We've got the uh, assault rifle range to help out with this. I'm guessing Petro Massimo's command is going to be very helpful for boosting everyone just a little bit. I think I'm, not, I'm worried sort of about the Lancers as well. To do this. I think we go take them in the field. We pop a shield. And we can at least kill most of them. Then we can retreat back and see what they try and attack. So long as we can take out the, the termite, we should be golden. 
Okay, come on. I think we're gonna have to go a little bit further this direction. Come on. Yeah, like the termite is the only one up front with a ranged weapon, so once the lancers show up, things will change. Petro, pop it. And Oh, those lancers are moving far too fast for my liking. Okay, one down. Let's see, who's got a... Damn it, I should have positioned you guys better. Pop that. You three, get in there. You, get in there. Come on, get inside the bubble. Dear lord, you guys are monsters. <laughs> All right, we got a, a 24 seconds of low burnout shield, and we're going to use that every single last second of it to murder as many of these as we can. Yeah, you can keep shooting. It's not going to do anything. Oof. Uh, pikemen, I think I would prefer you guys to take out a few of those. Yeah, take out the pikemen. And what are these? Scythers don't care about you. Lancers, lancers are all dead, are they? That's surprising. Something various. We got pikemen. Just the one pikeman, and then all the rest of the centipedes. Okay then, we kill the pikeman. Then once the shield's about to go with about four seconds left, we run. Okay, the scythers, I'm not too worried about to be honest. We can shred those in seconds. Okay, I think, how many's left? Eight centipedes. We could pop a second shield to finish these guys off, but I don't really want to waste it. We're going to need that shield for the end game. The end game is going to be absolutely mental. So the more of these shields we pop now, the less we have for later. Hmm. There is eight. Ugh. I kind of want to stay. Nah, they have too much health. Look at that. There's one, two. There's four full health ones. One, two, three, four wounded ones. No. The centipedes are just, there's too much meat to them. So we pull back. Come on. Run, 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 run. Yep, and... Ooh, that was perfect timing. I wasn't expecting it to be that perfect. Let's get everyone to stop right about there for a minute. And let's check the range on these guys. Yeah. I think we're fine staying here. The moment anyone starts to stray in range, we need to run. I think that's enough of that. Hmm. We might have to wait around a corner, or we might have to start skipping. Actually, Ralph, where are you? What's the range on that? Yeah, skip's not going to help us there, is it? Could you skip shield? Nope. Nope. Don't be risking things. We're doing well. Don't throw it away doing something stupid. We're going to run back inside. They're going to attack the walls. Then we'll know where they're going. Uh, we have Caribou here, who's going to be our melee specialist. They are going to help tank a bunch of stuff for us. Get inside. Alright, so that's where they're going. And all we need to... Oh, that's going to kill all our crops. Eh. Thing is, it's an annoyance, but we actually have plenty of food. We've got carnivore meals coming out the wazoo, and... See, where's our fine meals? Eh. Uh, Alright, so maybe not excessive amounts of fine meals. But people can eat nutrient paste if necessary. It's... Actually, we will be soon. Uh, you guys, get over there. Actually... I'm gonna get you to do is come down here and start heading this direction. We are gonna have to start skipping them into danger zones. Oof, God, they're gonna chew through those walls real quick. Come on, come on, come on. We could let the animals loose. That might be an idea. Actually, yeah. We've kind of been keeping these animals around for a while. I say we utilize them. I think it's time for the charge of the warg brigade. Now, um... Oh, yeah, I should... What are they set to do? They are... No, 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 I didn't mean slaughter a tame animal, Jesus. That was dumb. No, what I meant was they would follow Master while drafted. So, all of them but Hope and the Thrombos for now. Much better. Then, animals attack. Go for it. Yeah, all our plants are about to die now. And where's Ralph? Uh, Ralph, where are you, buddy? Your skip ability would be real nice. Nope, you can't reach him from there. And uh, what if you were told to go... No. Nope. Hey, what if you're told to go there? At some point, your path will intersect enough for us to get a bead on that thing. 
Come on. Ah, there you go. Excellent. We'll skip the centipede to right there. Nice. And of course, the splash damage kills the cook cooker instantly. That's perfectly reasonable. Hmm. Hmm. Ralph, get up to there. God, they're gonna mess up this place. Something shocking. Um. Put everyone. Yeah, everyone there. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Come on, come on, come on. And then we sort of open the door a little bit. Start the skip procedure. Uh, no. We'll start the skip procedure you, maybe? Oh, that's even worse. Hmm. We will skip... We will skip you. Right there. Actually, right, right there is better. And dead. Perfect. Who else wants some? But I think we kind of have to go out there and kill them now. How many's left? Six. If the animals could be convinced to do a little bit of... Yeah, there we go. And you. You need a bit of a skipping. That's what you need. Perfect. Uh, then another skip. I think you can be skipped on top of the pool. No. No, cancel that. Cancel that. No, I don't want you skipping on top of the pool table. That would result in a dead pool table. That would be bad. Uh, grab that guy there. Skip him over to there. Whew. Excellent. I think... I think we're just about ready to charge, though. There is one thing that makes me uncomfortable, and that's that one there. But... So long as we can get close enough to it, who cares? Air boost out of this for the moment. Everyone else, outside. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Sarah, you have... Skip. That guy's just fired. That guy, however, needs to stop firing. Eh. That guy has started firing, so they also need to stop firing. That interrupts them nicely. And then we have one last skip to go. Who are you aiming at? You are attacking Famine. Yeah, that's a problem, but we can live with it. That just leaves intern four, intern zero. Intern zero does not have skip, which is unfortunate, but they do have Beckon. Damn it, Beckon can't reach. Is there anything you can do? Yeah, nothing. Actually, we're not going to be doing much more recruiting, right? So, what if we just used a Psychic Shock Lance? Uh, zappity zap zap. And, come on. Perfect. Downed. Whew. Well, a little bit messy, not gonna lie. That could've went a lot better. We lost all of our crops, but... I am kind of okay with that. It's just taking on something like that with the... The breachers, they're kind of annoying. Uh, bruise to the head, no brain damage though, that's good. Daniel, how are you doing? Left leg, that's okay. Unbreakable, bruise to the neck. Okay then. Oh, and this guy here, they basically have no gun now. Uh, that's one of the things about this is once they get zapped, they have no gun afterwards, which means they're sort of defenseless. It's kind of hilarious. All right, let's put everyone back to work. We're going to throw in a quick wooden wall here until we get the sandstone replaced, just so that it keeps the temperature in. This place is, is dragging down the temperature in our bedrooms as well. But, I mean, our, our mood is so high, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just a, an annoyance. I should have really got you to go up and punch a centipede so you could earn your name, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much. Yeah, there'll be plenty more centipedes along later for you to punch. Well, while we try and clean up the enormous mess this created, uh, we have some no interplanetary combat suppliers showing up. I feel like their name is a contradiction, but it's fine. It's fine. So long as they'll buy off some of our junk, I don't care. Well, that's depressing. No shock lances, no shield pops, nothing. That's... Unfortunately, they do have a couple of Zeus hammers normal, but... Nah, we're good. Oh, and does someone want to clean that room? What's the... I want to see what it's like in this room. They want very dirty. Okay, no one tried cooking any meals until someone gets around to some cleaning. Uh, yeah, we might have to grab someone to do that. Nope, nope, no researching, cleaning. Some people showed up. They venerated the rifle, they didn't freeze, and now they're leaving. If they make it off the map, they might actually send us back something, it appears. Well, 
find out. Uh, the last group of people who came to venerate the rifle ended up freezing, well, one of them at least froze to death, and that kind of jinxed it. Supposedly they can give very good items. Well, that's awkward. Plague. Um, hmm. Been a while since we've had to deal with this. Thankfully, our medical people are pretty good. Our medical skill is 15, 14, 13, 13, 10, and 8. So our medical people should be able to take care of this. And everyone is at least normal medicine. Um, actually, wait, we're slim. Slim is the oldest. Let's check their immune system. Ah, immunity gain speed. Um, 64, yeah. They're the oldest, so they're getting a multiplier of 95% on their resistance. No, uh, rest in... Okay, once you're finished playing whatever you're doing... Where are you? Yeah, you are finished playing horseshoes. We are going to get you to rest until healed. This just makes sure they've got the highest chance. They get an immunity gain speed for being in the hospital bed. Uh, yeah, Unbreakable should probably be fine. They're younger, and what's that tent quality on that? Tent quality was perfection. Excellent. Wait, was it? Yeah, tent quality 90%. Actually, it could have been better. Mm. I'll keep an eye on this for a minute. Also, we have an interesting quest here. 21 hours left on it. We get 12 honor for doing it, which I would like. Also, an armor skin gland, a bionic arm, bionic leg, whatever, and a bunch of plasteel. But we would have to deal with a psychic suppressor, which would form outside somewhere, and it would be defended by 16 manhunted manhunting alpha beavers and a possibly an unknown threat. So it would be tricky, but I might have an idea on how to deal with it. This next bit has a small element of risk to it. We are going to accept this quest, the psychic suppressor. Now, it only affects females, which, you know, not great. But one second, we'll accept this for in turn zero. Perfect. Now, judging by the rewards on that quest, I'm going to expect this to be an absolute... Mm. No, like, if this was a normal quest, I'd say there'd only be 12 on or maybe one other little thing, like maybe 50 or 60 plasteel. But the fact there's a bionic arm, a leg, and an armor skin gland means, yeah, there's going to be 16 man-hunting alpha beavers, but there's also going to be an unknown threat. Since there may be an unknown threat, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you there will be. Could be wrong on that, but what I have then done is put ourselves together a group. And what I did was I sorted by shooting... And then after sorting by shooting, I then sorted by gender. So I then got the six best shooters we had who weren't sick. You can see these people here with the percentage sign. That's the ones that were sick. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. The best seven male shooters we had, which turns out we've only got seven males who are not sick. And then we threw in Sarah as well. We we're going to bring Sarah anyway in case we need the fire skip ability to get out of dodge if things go horrifically wrong. Uh, Sarah will, of course, be suppressed for the duration of this. Uh, where is the... Oh, and we got some new lovers. Intern 6 has actually managed to pick up a lover already, which is kind of impressive. Uh, this quest activated seven seconds ago. Sight appeared. Psychic suppressor. Okay, jump to location. Ooh, this is great. It's still within the sunblocker radius. I waited until 2100 hours so that we could be ensured it would be dark. That, no, wait, no. If we ended up, say, out over here, or is it uh, over here, outside of the sunblocker, we'd still have good accuracy. In that case, now I just have to fill all of these pods with the relevant people. I should point out, this is where that this mod comes in so handy. Where is it? Uh, lo load a launch group. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's all eight of them. Colony groups? That just makes that so much easier. Perfect. We shall accept. Now, all of you, get on board. Done. All of you, get ready to launch. Uh, or, oh, wait, let me double check this before I do something stupid and launch the wrong sector. Yes, that is definitely the Psychic Suppressor. Right, you, Psychic Suppressor, see available orders. Drop at edge. Yes, drop at edge. We don't want to drop into the middle of a bunch of alpha beavers. Fun as it sounds. Actually, no, that doesn't sound fun at all. It would be hilarious. Pods arrived? Oh, okay, that stuff's arrived already. Uh, let me just jump to the location quick. Yeah, it, it, it's falling down. We'll get someone to take care of that in a minute, for the time being. Uh, we want to see where the Alpha Beavers are. Yep, that's 16 Alpha Beavers. Uh, there's no real cover around here either, is there? And a rabbit. Perfect, we are going to... Okay, everyone, group up. Alpha Beavers inbound. We do not have a Petra Massimo's command to pop this time around, but we do have skip. So if things do go badly... Okay, easy peasy so far. I suppose our accuracy is just so ridiculously overpowered. Okay. And maybe a little bit of fire. Why? Just because we can. There was no need to it, but 
That is the built-in power of the Phoenix armor. I kind of like it. Area is now safe. Uh, that's good, but we're not leaving. We have to go in and take care of that suppressor. Which could be a problem. Uh, we might want to also kill that. Sarah, why are you moving so slowly? Ah, psychically suppressed. Yeah, problematic. Never mind, we can go nice and slow and wait for you. Well, so we can just kill the alpha beavers while we're waiting. All right, doing this, my only fear is that we get ambushed by some stuff we can't stop. I would really prefer if that did not happen. But I think that will only happen after we finish breaking whatever's in here. In fact, we can do that from there. Yeah, Sarah, you keep coming and just smash, just shoot open the walls. Nothing too surprising there. Psychic suppressor is grand. Wanderer joins? What do you mean a wanderer joins? A muffalo shaman has arrived and wants to join the co colony. She will. She's willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily. Better have good stats, because if you don't have good stats, uh, yeah, it'll be hats for you. All right, let's see. Come on, just, just kill that last house. We have a nice line of open, nice, nice open line of sight. And Sarah, where are you? We want Sarah to. We want to make sure that Sarah can actually. Yeah, her fire skip ability is right, in the, right there, so it should help all of us. And knock that down. Done. All right, I think it's time we left the tile. I don't want to hang around any longer. I think that is sufficient. Actually, what's in here? Come on, have a quick look. Why can't we see anything else? That is so weird. Uh, claim and open that door. Anyone? Okay, that was bizarre. All right, let's go. We could scrap the floor, but we don't need the wood. Then after we've reformed the caravan, Sarah can skip us right home. And straight into the bedrooms. I suppose, yep, that's probably where everyone has their fondest memories as it is. All right, plague-wise, everyone is doing great. There's actually even Slim, Slim, which is currently our worst, is still looking at 40% immunity versus 29% plague. We are kicking the butt of this plague. I've also made sure all of them are staying in bed as much as possible. Uh, all the sick ones there are have their bed rest set to one. Well, quest is available for Intern Zero's count ceremony, their final promotion. Uh, we'll do that after everyone recovers, though. We're still... Yeah, and everyone's not quite over the plague just yet, but soon. Uh, also, this Wanderer joins. You know what? Let's just accept them. Uh, what are you like? You are a steadfast neurotic. Wait, steadfast means your mental break threshold is reduced by 9%. But neurotic means your mental break threshold is increased by 8%, which means it should be a net positive? Uh, yeah, 34% is your mental break. Most people are around 35, so that's actually a good thing. Okay. Uh, neurotic actually increases your global work speed. This means you're actually pretty decent. Hmm. And you've got crafting. An erotic crafter? Uh, damn it. I was going to stop hiring people, but... Oh, well. Please welcome Intern 7. Yeah, well... We'll get you a nose, and oh, we're going to have to convert your religion as well. We we can't have a we can't have someone not of the faith on the team, unfortunately. Uh, we might have to imprison you for that, but don't worry, you'll enjoy it. Anyway, while people are getting over the plague, it's time to start putting in some bio sculpting pods. Uh, actually, I might want to put in a few dummy wires as well. Well, we want to make sure that these pods are not actually hooking up to our electrical grid, or they might do you know something stupid like drain all the power out of it. Uh, yeah, put one there, one there. We're going to need, well, for everyone on our team, oh, we're looking at how much? It's 22. Ah, uh, actually, is that new one a female? Actually, yeah, that's two last females. Hmm, well, 22 biopods? We can, we can manage that. Maybe we'll do 24 because I am a kind of a sucker for these things. That is 12 of them. And what we just have to do is offset them slightly just so that everyone can fit in between. And then there we go again, and then one final round over here. Uh, we're only putting in one entry door on here. Reason being, people should come in, hop into their pods, and then no one else should have any reason to come in here. Unless they're going for one of those wanderers they like to do so so much. And we will put another power conduit cable right about... Ooh. There seems good. That way we can disconnect them all. We're not going to have them all connected all the time, otherwise the power drain would just be sort of insane. And we'll see how that works out after they're all built. Wait, wait. Cancel that. What we want to do is we can reinstall these, so we're going to move Slim's one over. 
No point reinventing the wheel. Uh, once Slim Zone is over, we can probably start integrating this over here with the rest of this building. I would like to sort of expand out our production area a little bit so we could have four people working fabrication benches. Ah, bulk goods trader. At time. I've been trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff for a while now. Has there... Oh. We're cured all of our plague stuff. Grey Ghost has an inspired trade, it would appear. Uh, I want you to call them immediately. What are they called again? Defender Partners. Okay, Defender Partners, how would you like to get your hands on a whole bunch of random pants and stuff? That's a pretty huge trade. We spent, we bought eight, we sold 8,000 silver worth and bought five grand's worth. Low shield pack, insanity, neutronamine components, advanced components, and all of their stone. Why not? And all it cost us was a bunch of clothing we had lying around and some hats. Yes, we will take the lot. I know it's getting messy around here, but, well, there's no real way around that. We're storing all the extra bits and pieces over here. So any low shields, insanity lances, stuff like that, they all get dumped over that section. Yeah, guys, someone move that. And, oh, those advanced components, take them inside as well. Perfect. Oh, regular components too. We kind of spent, well, a lot of components right there. Each one of these things cost four components. And we built 15 of them. So that's uh, 40, what, 50, 60? Oh my god. Right, yeah, we spent a lot. We spent a lot, but it's fine. Uh, you can jump wires yet we're going to unpower these as much as possible they only take 50 watts when they're dormant but i think they take 200 watts when they're active and we're gonna have to put on some things to our sleeping pods as well once we change over religion for our next trick we are going to get intern zero and upgrade them and uh, give me that quest intern zero's cancer mine let's make sure there's no snowmen in the landing zone yep let's accept that uh it's still not it's minus 66 outside but it's minus 21 22 in here so i think their gear can handle that can it yeah minus 25 so long as they're in there they'll be fine come on get in there excellent what's your health at yeah tiny bit of hypothermia but of course you've got a carcinoma of course you have send the guy with a never mind all right uh intern zero why don't you begin bestowing ceremony? We're going to send everyone along, and this should give you three extra honor on top of that that you can spend on other nice things. Expected quality, 99%. Rue impressiveness is only 162.8 out of 170. Uh, we probably should have added another statue. Uh, we have an exit one right there. We can add that in after. All right, let's see what ability they get. What we don't want is skip shield. Namely because we can give them skip shield. And they get Mass Chaos Skip. Ugh, didn't want that one either. Fine. They can have that terrible, terrible ability. I've never found a really good use for Chaos Skip. I've tried it a bunch, but the problem is it's not controllable. So what's the point? Eh, skip Shield Sidecast. I'm sure there's the odd occasion where it's worked out, but you're taking a risk anytime you use it. You might end up teleporting people right beside you or further away. You, you don't know. Well, yeah, we must be in the depths of winter because it's Mech at Lock. What do we got here? Eh, Lancer. Three Scythers. Uh, so four lancers, five centipedes, one termite, and I'm thinking one low shield pack should take care of this. And uh, maybe an insanity lance on one of the centipedes to buy us a distraction. Hmm. Actually, yeah, insanity lance and a low shield pack, and we should be able to finish this real quick and get back to work. Yeah, let me get everyone together. We got everyone inbound. Actually, I can start breaking up these groups. I shouldn't be keeping them around now, should I? Uh, they had their uses, but now it'd be just cleaner if we got rid of them. Yeah, we're going to have everyone line up here for now. And then... Oops, slow that down a wee bit. We're going to take out the termite at the front. Hopefully the pikeman wanders in range. That would be really nice. Uh, guys, might want to get over here. It looks like they want to break through the wall on this side. I would prefer if they did not do that. And Petro still got their command available. That is good to know. Okay, I hope the pikeman strays into range. That would be nice. I've also brought along all the wargs. No, pikeman is not straying into range. Pikeman is a douche. Okay, um, hmm. Raph, we did not give you a jump jet pack. I really should have given you one. Sarah, do you have one? Yep. I really gotta give you guys jump jet packs. It would make life so much simpler. So, how many pikemen have they got? They got the one, two. Hmm. I don't like this. It's just that means we're gonna have to start eating shots from them for a while. Oh, fine. Okay, a miss. How's everyone doing? Petro. Pop that command. Everyone gets a bonus to their shooting skills. That thing's dead. Perfect. Okay, dead, 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 dead. The only thing I really care about is once those centipedes start coming in range. 
Okay, those centipedes are going to be in range shortly, so we want to pop a shield. Thinking here is good. Perfect. I would like you three to get inside there. Done. Problem solved. Now we just need an insanity lance on, say, one at the rear. Give me an insanity lance. Okay, who are you attacking? Yeah. Well, that's not very nice. You're attacking you're you're attacking our people. Okay, 18 seconds. Okay, another one bites the dust. And eleven and done. Alright then. I think we had some minor injuries there. Uh actually, no, no one got the injuries bar acceptance. Perfect. All right, I think uh, everyone can go back to work. We can call that a smashing success. Aha! Imperial Trader. Imperial Trader. Right, so they uh, do actually show up, but only once you've got someone up to this level. Uh, let's see, we've got Ralph here. Ralph here is a Praetor. Now, once you're a knight, which is one level below this, you can actually trade with the Empire. But now, you can't trade with them via the comms console only person who can trade with them is Intern Zero because they're an actual count. That is weird. Okay, well, wake up in the morning and give them a ring. What's the other one? Oh, sorry, give them a ring. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll get them to call them in the morning. The Empire are a bit of a weird trading partner. They don't stock Neutronamine. Most of them do. Well, most of the other traders do. As well as that, they won't buy our hats. So, as you can tell, they're, they're just monsters. In fact, if you want to see what a trader will or won't buy, you can actually go in here and check. For example, you can see all the different types of clothing they'll pay for. We were making some capes at the moment. I've been doing that for a while because I knew this was going to be coming up. Buildings-wise, they won't buy any of our armchairs or anything like that, so there's no real way to sell them leather without actually turning it into one of the nicer things like a cape or, you know, a corset or something like that. They will buy loads of the armors, but we're not selling them those. Animal-wise, no corpses, creatures, weapons. They will buy all of these, but honestly, weapons, there's no good profit margins at them. In fact, most of the things you can sell, they won't... You won't be able to actually produce properly. Raw resources wise, they do actually take wood. That's actually pretty unusual. Most places don't, as far as I recall. Anyway, while we're here, we can sell them some of the capes we've made. And, oh, this is one of the important mixed bits though. They will sell you persona weapons. This is a psychically hypersensitive persona Zeus hammer. Yes, that would be beautiful. I don't think we really need a psychically sensitive one, but I would like a Persona one that had some decent abilities to it, so we'll we'll hold that and see if they bring out a better one. Or even a Mono Sword. I don't really care. We sold them a hundred beard, a bunch of capes, bought twelve advanced components, and seven regular components. Outside of that, I don't really see much worthwhile buying off them right here, and I'd prefer to save our gold in case an actual... Uh, one comes by that we could trade it for honor or something of the like. Ooh, I completely forgot about that new intern we got in. They are, um... Well, they're not really liking what we've been getting up to around here. I think it's time we tried a bit of a conversion ritual. Uh, they have sky-high expectations, which is not going to help, but I don't really see much ways around that. Uh, fine, we'll give it a go. Let's uh, get them in here, and hopefully we can at least knock something off of them. Worst case scenario, we can arrest them. All right, and we can immediately hit them with a conversion right after this. What is their social at? Ugh. And they're quite resistant. Global certainty loss factor 50%, so it's only going to be half as effective as normal. Did you just level up? Ineffective conversion ritual. You actually made them more certain. Well, that's not good. Uh, days, intern 7. Well, that makes things much easier. Intern 7, I'm afraid it's time for you to uh, visit our jail. Well, it's just you'll be safer there. Uh, this... Four prisoners. We'll reinstall the table again. I got rid of the table because some of our people were dining in there. Nothing like getting arrested to take someone right out of a daze. Uh, oh, and once you wake up, we're going to hit you with a convert. Yeah. Mm. Pity they're asleep. Uh, we'll set you to convert, and hopefully once that's done, we can release you again, and you won't be nearly so unhappy. We might release you if a wedding happens so that you can join the wedding. We are finally almost finished with this expansion. Ah, <sighs> so many pods. That is going to be a lot of wattage, but... I think we built enough reactors to, to cover it. Now, uh, we're going to do a quick convert on intern here. Actually, let me see, Casey. How good is that? Uh, if we convert them, we will knock off... Certainty reduction 20%. Huh. 
When installed relics on the map gives a 10% bonus. Oh, every relic we got actually makes this easier. <laughs> Should we... You know what? We might want to hold off on that conversion attempt. Actually, no, 20% is fine. As long as we keep them above 50, if they have a mental break... Oh, wow. What the... Just... Oh, they had a crisis of belief, and then like, a split second later we hit them with a the convert. Okay, that, that actually made me scared there for a second. Like, the thing was, I didn't want to... Oh, and they didn't get a... They got no change for the crisis of belief. I mean, uh, as in they didn't get a... Ah, they're a... They were supposed to get a plus 40 moodlet bonus, but I think because they are actually a colonist and they had a crisis of belief while being arrested, this hasn't actually helped. Now we just got to worry that they don't have another crisis of belief. I'd kind of prefer if they went berserk right now. That would probably make things a little bit easier. Well, we've got another wedding going on. I was going to release our prisoner intern seven, but unfortunately they seem to be hiding in their room. Oh, well, congratulations, Gus and Totfudas. That's a... Uh... Totfidaz is up to three wives, uh, one lover. Uh, Gus is up to... Wow, that's six husbands, a fiancé, and two more lovers. Gus, you... She's really... She really knows what she's up to. Damn, that is insane. I wonder everyone's so incredibly happy. And that right there is the final pod. Perfect. So, we can now de-age them as necessary. But that still leaves us the bedroom stuff. We gotta make sure that we can fit in those, uh... Oh, damn it, what do you call them? Neural superchargers, that's it. Actually, we don't need them in the bedroom, we just need them in a central location. However, I have discovered we're going to need 20... Well, one for each pawn, so about 22 of them. And they draw 400 watts apiece constantly, which means we'll need... 8,800 watts of power. And we only built six ship reactors. We're gonna need at least another two, plus... I'm gonna build six more ship reactors. God damn it. I knew transhumanist was going to be painful, but I didn't realize just how painful. So we can stick about three of them there, then another three... Damn it, that's going to block a door. You know, five should be fine, right? I mean, no one's going to mind if everything's a little bit lopsided, right? All right, instead of making it completely lopsided, I just made it slightly lopsided. There, that'll be fine. We'll just have to build that up, then we can do... We, then we can afford the neural superchargers. And thankfully we've got doors nearby and we'll stick in a steel door about there. In fact, oh, actually that should be another door out. Perfection. That way if they take out one set of our reactors, at least we'll still have six more. I should also point out, even if we didn't get the neural superchargers, it's not that big a deal. Uh, the point being, it only gives us a minus six to mood. And right now, as you'll notice, our mood is pretty good. Pretty good. So the minus six would be a pretty much much of a muchness. You know what? How about we shift our, our meme now? We don't really care. Because the negatives we get would not be nearly bad enough. Though I would like would like to convert that intern over before. Casey, what are you at on the recharge? You're at 37%. Hmm. I think it might be time for a religious reformation. This should be fairly straightforward and relatively painless. Well, that's what you'd like to think. Uh, we want to grab a new meme and it's transhumanist. Sleep accelerator. Oh, it's the sleep accelerators I was thinking of, not the neural superchargers. Yeah, we'll have to redo the bedrooms, but that's fine. Biosculpting, accelerated, and yep, yep, grant, grant, grant. We'll be able to eat nutrient paste without problems, though. That's kind of nice. Where is the nutrient paste? Nutrient paste. Anyone for nutrient paste? Don't mind. Uh, yeah, there's literally no way we can change that. There's... Ooh, actually, we should, we should also put down some skull spikes. I've been totally forgetting about that, and we have so many skulls just lying around the place. All right. So, combat and darkness is preferred. Uh, dark lighting is preferred. Our research is set to very fast. Our body modification is approved, and we get uh, was it no art? We get a plus three for having it, plus one for having it modded. Age reversal is demanded. If someone's over twenty-five, once a year they have to get an age reversal. Ooh, uh, physical active love is a noble thing. So free and approved. Diversity of thought. We are intensely bigoted. <laughs> okay. Biosculpting, accelerate. All biosculpting cycles takes half the usual time. So anytime we use the biosculpture, it only takes half as long as a normal person. Um, we want neural superchargers, which basically increases people's consciousness. We want sleep accelerators, which makes people sleep faster. Uh, unlimited spouses allowed are for both men and women. Execution respected if guilty. Cannibalism accepted. 
uh, eclipses are beautiful, corpses don't care, bonding disapproved. Yeah, there's there's pretty much nothing else here. I mean, we could change insect meat to love, but I, I don't really think it. I think this is probably the most changed um, I've ever made a religion before. Though, let me change a few things here. Okay, okay, I gotta stop spending time messing around with all the text in this. All right, our beliefs have been ironed out just a little bit, faithful or whatever, you can, you can pause that if you care. We've also changed people's names a bit so that the uh, support specialists actually fit more with what they do. I've even changed the name of some of the rituals just to be something a little bit closer to home. And down here, yeah, we got, I left all of these the same. So I really feel like I shouldn't have built those grand sculptures in, but now that they're there, I'm not taking them out. We changed in one new relic, we got rid of the smoke shooter and we replaced it with uh, the assault rifle, the shooty shooty bang bang. And we changed the thrombo horn to be called the super common, because I felt that all sort of sort of looked nice. Uh, did the relic high remnant will not be venerated? Wait. No, the prime rifle stays, the high remnant is fine, that's another quest we got. Yeah, yeah, you continue, it's fine. I think... Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Perfect. All right then. Let's uh, let's see how that works out on a religion. Now I think everyone's gonna be uh, a little bit ha unhappy about some things. Uh, ooh, horrific aging. Yeah, I need to get a re age reversal on a bio sculpting pod. Don't worry, we're gonna get all of you age reversing pretty soon. We're gonna do it four at a time, because any more than that would be madness. Actually, slim. How are you doing? Uh, once neural supercharged, transhuman synchronized. Oh, they need two more artificial body parts are required to fully synchronize with my belief. Transhumanist modded? Hmm. Uh, I figure what we do here is this. We take four of them. Uh, so say these four here. And connect them up. Boom. Then we get Jarek got, well, we get our first four pawns here. And we cycle them through and get their aging sorted. We don't want to put in everyone at once, you know, that's asking yourself to get murdered. So we send in these four first, but we're going to put them in for a, a sort of a warm-up cycle. So we, what we want to do is uh, begin on a pleasure cycle, because that only takes 1.7 days. But once that's done, we can do the age reversal cycle, and it should have reduced the amount of time it takes. For example, Slim here is already synced. Actually, let me double check this. Wait, 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 I'm thinking about this all wrong, all wrong. Um... All right, what I was thinking about was actually the bioregeneration cycle, the one we use to cure the brain damage on Slim. These things take ages. And the thing is, though, once you've done one cycle through these machines, they get biotuned to you. For example, Slim here is biotuned to this one. So if we tried to do a bioregeneration cycle for them, it would take 17.4 days. 8.7 if they're transhumanist, but say 17.4 days if they were just a normal person. However, if they tried to do it without biotuning first, it would take them 21.7 days. So normally what people would do is do a pleasure cycle, it takes three and a half days, then do the bioregeneration cycle, which would take 21.7 days. So, that, well, actually, no, it would take 17.4 days, which means the whole thing would take about 20, well, it would take less time if you did pleasure cycle followed by the bioregeneration cycle is the theory. But yeah, we don't care about that. We're transhumanists and all we're doing is age reversal cycles. So we're going to chuck in these four into these pods and start them getting de-aged. And we're going to do it for every four at a time. Then once, once these first four are out, we'll put in the next four and then the next four and then the next four all the way until the whole team is done. That way we always have a decent amount of people available to do some killing should the need arise. That's going to take 3.5 days, but then they'll all be good to go. In the meantime, we're going to be doing a lot of construction. The gauging, yeah. But the thing is, even though we've got all these negatives, everyone still seems to be doing fine on mood because of all the marriages. Let's take advantage of that. Uh, we're also going to need to... <laughs> I've just realized we're going to be surrounded by uh, radioactive ship reactors. This is going to feel unpleasant when we activate the endgame quest. Oh, one downside of them being in the pods, they're going to miss out on all the weddings. Uh, considering they're going to be in there for about three and a half days, yeah, you're probably going to miss out on several. It's fine. There's been a few relationships on and off, but only one breakup, Petra Massimo and Dee Dallaire. I've updated the spreadsheet for that, and Charlie is now hooked up with Intern 6, which means somehow Slim is still the only one in a singleton relationship. I, I don't know how this is happening. Slim just doesn't seem to hook up with anyone else. I think it might be an age thing. Oh, guys, don't roof in all of that. Uh, there's... I... I don't know if these things generate heat, but can we actually make one of these under a roof? Cannot be placed under a roof. Okay, in that case, uh, remove the roof. Come on, get rid of it. Stop it. Well, well, well. Stevens has contacted you. Ten days ago, you helped him in desperate circumstances. Since then, they've got back on their feet. They've given us an infinite chem reactor and a gun link. Uh, well, the gun link's on the snowman now. I think, I think the snowman can have it. It's fine. Now, where did that infinite chem reactor go? Uh, 
Damn it. Ah, there we go. We're going to install you. Where? Uh, you probably generate heat, don't you? Hmm. Think for a minute. You know what? Right there is fine. We'll check it in right there. It's in a nice central location where it's less likely to get killed. It might still get mortared, but that's uh, I'm not so worried about that. Oh, as for gunlinks, I'm not a big fan of them because they, they, they basically give you a plus three to your shooting. You have to give up headgear, though. That's just too much. Headgear is too vital to give up, so no thank you. Oh, and down here, we've just about finished that, and we can start on ship reactors. Put one in there, one in there. It's going to be expensive, but yeah. 12 ship reactors. That's 12 kilowatts of power. It might just pay for our transhumanist power requirements. That is the last piece of starship tech done. And uh, that means... Yeah, all done. That means all we need is... Oh, actually, we don't need any of this stuff. I think I'll get it anyway, but we'll just start at the end and work our way back and take all of the tech out as we go. I mean, we're transhumanists. Why not? Well, next problem, another mech cluster. It is definitely mech... Oh my god. That looks like a big one. Uh, actually, let's check the numbers on this one. It will, it may remain dormant, may have proximity timers, yeah, well stuff. Randy, 1.35. This should be a decent sized one. Actually, maybe it's got uh, unstable power cells. Any unstable power? No, I don't see any, do you? Oh wait, there's one. You have one unstable power cell, and you brought a sun blocker. <laughs> ah, Randy. Okay, I feel like you're just messing with me now. Uh, we got three of those, three of those, uh, three mini slugger turrets. Nothing of any real danger, so we've... Okay, well, there's four mech capsules there, which are probably going to spit out something nasty. And the mech assemblers, we got what? Pikemen, pikemen... Oh, a centipede in there. So we lure everything around to the kill box. There's only four centipedes. The R8 pikemen. Okay, we'll lure them around to the kill box, kill a lot of them. We'll make sure everyone stays inside for it. Uh, by the time this is done, these should be ready to come out of the pods. 13 hours for you, 1.3 for the others. The reason Slim's so much faster is they're, they were already bio-tuned to that pod. And I'm trying to load these up with nutrition, but I want to make sure they only use uh, nutrient paste. That stuff is very efficient. I don't want to be dumping in raw meat. Well, I suppose we could. We've got plenty of it. But, it, you know, it's just want to be reasonable about this. All right, let me bring everyone back inside. One thing we're also going to do is we are going to get Casey to do a convert on Intern 7. That should convert them over to our religion. Their catharsis is about to wear off in four hours, so I want to, like, get them out of the prison, drug them up to the gills, and uh, actually get them happy enough that they don't accidentally have any more mental breaks that might break them from our religion. In fact, Casey, I might have to get you out of bed just a little bit early for this. Uh, yeah, just, just do it now. And then we can send a mortar shell down there. Also, as well as that, once that's done, or once we uh, zap them, we can let them out of the prison, and then we can convert that back to feeding our people. Come on. Perfect. They're fully converted. Prisoner release. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, prioritize releasing intern 7. Okay, right, welcome back to the team. Now, uh, first thing you're going to do... Okay, well, we're going to wear a cataphract helmet, but you're also going to drink some Psychi tea. Uh, you're also going to consume some Ambrosia. Actually, no. You're going to drink some Psychi tea, and then you're going to smoke some smoke leaf. And that should be... An, oh, and you're going to drink a beer. That should at least keep you going for a wee bit. We might even hit you up with uh, a, a spell or two to keep you going. Actually, it's in turn zero. They have word of joy. Uh, casting time, two seconds. Effect duration, five days. Hmm. Hit them up if you wouldn't mind. That should keep them going for a while. It's just I don't want them having any mental breaks anytime in the near future. Three mortar shells inbound. And there we go. We'll have to hold fire after that. Ooh, what did we hit? Yeah, we hit a few things. Let me triple check. Mech drop beacon summoning reinforcements. Yeah, that seems just about right. Nothing too scary. Still looking at seven centipedes. All right, you guys are holding fire. That is great. Everyone else is indoors. None of the doors are open. That shouldn't be. Yeah, we're sealed in tight. Perfect. Actually, that door can be left open and get those blocks out of there so they're not slowing anyone down. All right, we'll take uh, people around to the kill box and we'll take care of this mess. In fact, how are you guys doing? You'll be out in about 18 hours. Slim will be out in five seconds. And out. Perfect. All right.
Right, let's get everyone sorted. And here we go with another bit of a slaughter. Come on in and die. Yeah, there's just no real survival here for the mechs. The skill box is just sort of awesome. All right, we'll skip it forward a bit. We're just going to finish off these ship reactors, uh, finish off these mechanoids, and then just going to another day. Oh, you two can actually get back to work. There's no point working on those mortars for now. Oh, mechanoids have been assembled and will defend their cluster. Well, that's good. Dick, that means they can come over here and die along with the rest of them. Well, that was another very, very successful slaughter. Uh, we'll let everyone back to work. I've changed the zones already because they were already in the kill box. Uh, you can go pick up your rifle and you can go pick up your rifle. Now, I think what we need to do is grab two people to go out and take care of this as quick as possible. I think we're going to get Sarah involved. I let her retire a little bit early so that we could get her in to do some other things. Namely, we want her to pick up that smoke launcher, and then we want to grab her someone else who is doing pretty well. No, your recreation is way too low. Uh, Casey, maybe? Well, actually, no, Casey needs to go into that tank later. Petro, Daryl, and... Yeah, so Ralph? Goddamn Ralph. You know what? We'll grab Ralph. Ralph will do just fine. Ralph, we are going to get you to grab some EMP grenades, and you're going to help out. We're going to get them all to head over this direction and we're going to take care of this problem and grab ourselves that unstable power cell. Right now, we're about to try something blindingly simple. Sarah here is going to lob a smoke round as far as she possibly can. And poof. And then she is going to skip Ralph all the way over there. And she's going to also skip herself all the way there. And oh, the reason we're not going any further. That turret would riddle us full of bullets if we tried or hot plasma, whatever. And done. Now, she doesn't have enough neural heat to do that a second time, but that does mean we can crawl forward just a little bit faster. Otherwise, like, the, it's a slow crawl. There's so many turrets, there's no way to get close to that one without, like... Like, look at that. There's those, there's those, and there's also all of those. There's just so many overlapping fields of fire that there's no other way to do it. I suppose the other option was come from down here and try... No, I am not bothered. We will slowly crawl our way forward this way. It will be slow, it will be painful, but hopefully we should end up with... Yep, you can go there, you can go there. We should end up with that uh, unstable power cell at the end of it. I need to be more careful about this. I need to be extremely, extremely cautious. That went... Sarah got clipped by some fire there. That's not good. Let's just make sure we crawl forward. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, you can maybe get forward a bit as well. And what is... Pods? Faye thanks you for letting her and the other Outlander venerate Prime Rifle on the 2nd of August as a reward they are sending you the following. Plasteel Terror Sculpture, excellent. I, I, I will investigate this later. It's just right now, we're kind of in the middle of something and I don't want to stop. Actually, well, this is a perfect location. A range here. Yeah, we can take out all of these things. So you just keep smoking them up right there. They'll take care of the problems. And the terror sculpture is excellent. Okay, that cost us nothing. Oh, wait a minute. So that's what you're supposed to do when you vin visit those um, those terminals. You're supposed to, like, visit it, be in awe, leave, and then give them a gift afterwards, not kill them all. Ah, well, yeah, that's not going to change our behavior, I somehow think uh, you are just actually in the way so why don't we just target that one if you accidentally clip you well who cares yep there we go easy peasy yeah i'm definitely bringing skip next time as well this makes it so much simpler you can basically just skip around and get into the nicest locations to gain multiple targets all at the same time oh that's actually going to be popping soon but that's okay we'll uh we can take care of that in fact we'll just take out this last turret right here oh actually there's one over there Okay. Actually, there is none over there. That's one grenade should take care of it. Then that's the last mech assembler, and then we can pop around the corner to grab the mini slugger. And finished. Excellent. Uh, let's deconstruct this whole area, except for the unstable power cell. Okay, I think the rest of the team... Yeah, once you two are out... Come on. Taking too long. Eh, done and done. How are you guys looking? Loading ingredients. I'm going to need the ingredients on those loaded soon enough. In 3.2 days, they'll all be out and we can start the next crowd. Just this means they don't get any negatives. They still want a neural supercharge and... Oh, they're still going to want the bed thing, aren't they? Actually... No? The only thing they want is the neural supercharge. We can get them that. That will require a little bit more power, though.
A quick infestation coming through. Well, too deep infestation, not an actual infestation. Four of our people are in pods at the moment. Uh, I left a couple to actually continue with the construction as well. Hey, uh, Ralph, weren't you supposed to finish that? Oh, never mind. And then we'll hunt the last of them into oblivion, grind them up into chem fuel, you know, just the usual. Well, we've got enough plastic coming in to finish these off, and I've thrown together one neural supercharger just to show you what it is. It basically has to charge up for a whole day. It takes 24 hours. When it does, you can then, well, a haunt can go up to it and basically get a neural supercharge, which increases their consciousness by about 10%. Also cranks up their um, their hunger. But a 10% consciousness increase is kind of huge. It basically means they do everything about 10% faster. However, it costs 400 watts of power to keep this running, and we're going to need one for all of them. Uh, they all demand it, where that uh, want neural supercharger by six, or minus six mood. We can get by without the mood. In fact, I'm beginning to think the most broken thing about this run is not even the kill box. It's the mood bonuses we're getting from all these weddings. Actually, those weddings are about to run out. Oof, that might actually be a problem. It's, we've been sort of coasting by on that. Actually, no, there's plenty of weddings. It's just uh, a few of the people end up in the pods. They weren't around for some of the weddings. In fact, that's probably the biggest hit we've got from going in here. Oh, and I've had to zone the thrombos out of here. They kept munching through all of the bonsai trees, but it was giving them almost no nutrition. I've limited them, still in, in them instead to the rest of the base, just to stay out of the carnivore meals. They can eat the fine meals, they just can't eat the, the carnivore meals, right? And they should be grand. They should be able to live off those. There's plenty more nutrition in them than whatever they're getting out of the bonsai trees. Or, well, they're eating all the heel root and everything else as well. So, we just about got this finished. That will bring us up to 11... 11 ship reactors? Oh, what the... Oh, yeah, 12 ship reactors. And over here, we've got all of these pods filled, and yet yeah, we've taken the power away from all but the ones we're actively using. And that's what we'll sort of do. Cycle four people in, cycle four... And once they're done, we cycle in the next four, then the next four. And it should only take... Where is it? Two point... Or was it... 2.8 days, everyone going through. So... What I'd like to do is get everyone through really quick before the uh, the time we activate the ship engines and remove the threat limiter. And I think, I don't think we're going to have Phoenix armor for everyone, but a few bits here and there. Human leather tail cap wise, yes, we're still swimming in them. We've even got a few capes as well to go along with that. There's another masterwork leather tail cap. Uh, they just sort of keep piling up. Tree here is, yeah, their crafting is up to 17. It's because they're industrious. It kind of makes them just a wee bit fast at getting things done. Oh, Shelter for Nobles and Arconex's quest. You have reached the wealth requirements for it. You can now accept the quest. Eh. Uh, oh, I think we've had this for a while. Yeah, we're well over the 350,000 mark. And uh, Nobles wants to stay with you for 12 days with two court allies. No, we don't care. Brigand outpost. Kill 20 people for 21 Luciferium. Hmm. Would actually be a quick one to do. We could just pop out, murder him real quick, and then pop back using a shuttle. See, how's our shuttles looking here? Call aid. I think we have a few shuttles left. We could do it. Nah, I'll save it for something more important. Luciferium is not really worth it at this point. But it would be nice to put our uh, thrombos on it. And to end the day, we have one more wedding between D. Delaire and Unbreakable. Because, of course we do. We just... No one's mood is even coming close to breaking anytime soon. Uh, we do have... Oh! Jeremy and Totfidas are not actually out of the pod, so they're going to miss out on this wedding, but everyone else is going to get a lovely mood boost. All right, next up, we've got to build, well, about 22 neural superchargers to keep everyone going, and then we're going to have to stick in some of those, was it sleep accelerators? Yep, sleep accelerators. And they go at the top of the beds, you have to rotate them. Yeah, there you go. And they will work on bed rolls, I have been reliably informed by the wiki, though I haven't tested it. I figure we just do a row of double beds down here by the bottom, and then neural superchargers above them, and then another row of neural, su neural superchargers, another row of double beds across the top, and neural superchargers to feed them as well. And the thing is, I think we're going to have to start breaking up people's schedules, as in staggering them, because we don't want them all using the, the neural superchargers at night, or sorry, the sleep accelerators at night. Otherwise, they'll all, you know, be drawing 400 watts of powers at the same time, and it will drain all our batteries. We want to have it sort of spread out so that hopefully we have enough power generation between all of these. It's going to be 12 kilowatts of power between all of these ship reactors, which is probably not going to be enough, considering, like, these here alone are going to be drawing 8.8 .8 kilowatts. So this is only generating us 12. So we need to spread out the rest of the power load a bit. The, uh, the wind turbines will help. And we've got the batteries to even out the flow. And sorry, some of the videos are getting a bit way too long, but it's just I'm trying to get all this crammed in as quick as possible so I can get around to playing the new expansion. I am really looking forward to some of this stuff. Oh, 
and they've patched some of our exploits. By that I mean, from now on, if you try and, like, normally when we'd have uh, things land over here and we could go, oh, we'll stick down some sleeping spots beside them to wake them up. Won't work anymore. They patched that out. Yeah. They, they've patched out a few things that we do, that we were used to be doing, but yeah, never mind. For now, we're going to cut this out here. Uh, next up, we'll be getting everyone equipped with the last of what we need and then doing the final mission or the uh, the ship activation. At which point we're going to get mobbed and we're going to turn off the threat limiter and see what happens. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.